Is this time Alan Partridge's last aha? In episode 4 of This Time with Alan Partridge, he's standing outside broadcasting house before a group of stern-faced women delivering a fiercely pro-dog item when he's briefly put off by a cry of aha. From a passerby. It feels like a dist since the Gibbons brothers, Rob and Neil, took over co-writing duties for the character, he has developed some degree of wokeness. Hence the start of F. Watch this. The Gibbons Partridge is a more detailed creation, less given to comedic bombshells. Switching on the light, ironically, when I am Alan Partridge returned for series 2 in 2002, it was deemed broad by many critics, partly because it retained its laugh track, which sounded jarring in the wake of the new naturalism ushered in by the office. This time isn't exactly naturalistic. There's something eerie, he's constantly guilty of verbal manspreading, cutting across her with an excruciating, relentless trickle of needless corrections, over-familiar interjections, and clumsy flirting. His frosty relate, Alan is not entirely a villain. He has a pertinent, thing is, as the Gibbons brothers have noted, by 21st century standards of discourse, he is frighteningly plausible. When he mutters aloud, something happens, as you might expect, next week. Really, this sh related most iconic comedians wonder wall international.